Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I am Kodo of the Sequence Breakers. In the last episode, we uh, made more progress in the uh, Tower of the Gods, which I guess is really a temple. So, you know. And we're making a make our way through this door. We met some statues, made friends. You know. Anyways, what am I supposed to do here? Uh, oh, well, there's a door down here, so I guess I'll go through that. Oh boy, a platforming room. I always wanted a platforming room. Still eyeball of truth. What's over there? Nothing. Nothing. Yep. Okay. All right, up the little elevator thing with the eyeball. Yep. What goes in here? A small key, so I guess I take it I need that for something. Go up, I guess. Oh. Another one of those things. And a skull. What do I, what's over there? I mean I, I don't see anything over on that platform. What was I supposed to do? Oh. There's another giant eyeball. Oops, missed. Come back! Alrighty. Invisible chest. Who rematerializes like the predator. <laughs> uh, joy pendant. Okay, I could have gone without one of those. But I really don't care about joy pendants. Although I guess they are useful later in the game, at some point, I think. I think you have to have a certain amount of joy pendants at some point. But, you know, I don't really care about them. I'm not like one of those people who are like, really uh, big on collecting things in video games. I'm just like, get me through the story. Yep. I'll do my best to solve it. Beyond that. Eh. That was fast. Go away! Yep. Ah, no fair, I'm swimming. You're interrupting my little dip. God, those things fly around so erratically. Come on, up the ladder, up the ladder. Before the bat comes to get us. I think I know what to do. Upsie daisy. Nobody likes you. Do here. Okay, I think I know what I'm supposed to do. These platforms will rise and fall based on how much weight is on them. So make sure you throw enough of these statues. I'm gonna throw off all four. I think I only need to throw three, but you know, just for the sake of time. For uh, making sure I get through it the first time. Yeah, there we go. Now 
But I'm curious, what's in there? We time this right. There we go. Sometimes those are just, you know, timing. Oh, there's another door. Arrows! Bombs! Hello? Um... Are you my friends? What's this? Am I supposed to play a song? Fine. Um... Oh wait, what, what song should I play? What songs do I know? There's no two songs. Wind's Requiem and Command Melody. I guess I'll play the Command Melody. No, I don't want that. See what happens. Can I control these statues? Oh, okay. So maybe Wind's Requiem. Oh, but I hear enemy music. Ah! Take a bomb! Eat a bomb, you fiend! Ah! Are you mocking me? Ah! Spiked me. <laughs> Bombs, arrows. See, like, if you use only two bombs, if you use, like, only one bomb to kill those guys, like, you kill them right the first time, you should actually end up with more bombs than you started with. This is one way to make it kind of easy in this game. Alright, we got another treasure chart. We shall see if we end up using it. I might. After I finish, or get close to finishing the story, I might go back and do some of the side quests. But for now, I'm mostly just, you know, story. Again, I'm not like a completionist like those people who like to collect everything in a game. I mean, it depends on the game, really, but, you know, a Zelda game, it's kind of hard to get everything. Well, maybe not, compared to some other games. There are some other games that have, like, 10,000 collectibles hidden in random locations throughout an open world. Those are the kind of games that are impossible to find all the things for. Unless, you know, you just have a lot of community support. Oh, jeez. Unless you just look at a lot of community videos to find those things. Is there anything in the jars for me? Magic. Alright. Yep. <laughs> What's through here? Magical beams of light. Um, okay, so... Am I supposed to command that thing now? Maybe. Alright, so that, that turns off that. Can I... Uh, I can't command the statue until after I come down, can I? I know what I, I need to do. Ha. I haven't used this in a while. Where is it? I shall glide over top. I don't need to turn off your silly laser beams. Well, not yet. I need to turn it off to get back through. Do my bidding, statue! 
Go through the laser beam. Sacrifice yourselves. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Link looks all serious when he's doing when he's controlling the statue. And if you're wondering why I'm I'm carrying it all the way through. One of these things. <laughs> These things are ridiculous. Anyway, just come with me. Up we go! Okay, that doesn't work. Um, I guess I have to go to the other side. And, uh, get those statues to obey me. Well, no. Use them to support my weight. That's why they have four statues. It's because the statue that we're carrying is equivalent to one statue. And these statues are... Three of these statues are equivalent to us. Plus a statue coming up. Okay, so basically three statues for us. Or for me. For Link. Whoever. And then one statue for the statue. It all makes sense! Okay. Let's go get our little statue buddy. Statue buddy! I've made us a bridge, we can go. We're free! What? You don't want to be my buddy anymore? Ah, oh, you statue buddies and your pillars of light. Pedestals, pillars, whatever. Same thing. They look... Are the statues, like, different? I think they are. So those are... Okay. Never mind. Um, okay, so I guess we're supposed to go into that little... Beam of light here. I don't know, man. I've seen some crazy beams of light in my day. Most of them are alien ships. Come to take me to their planet and dissect me and do all kinds of alien things. Things that aliens do. Do I. I think I shoot this thing, right? No. Okay, well, I guess I can't kill that thing right now. Anyways... We need the statues. Statue, come with me. Now, before people start asking, like, a ton in the comments, no, you cannot control normal statues. It's only those god statues that you can control, I guess. These statues are just, you know, dead until a certain point. Ouch, ouch, get away, then! Ooh, butterfly pen. Okay. Okay, okay, so, go on. And we will get the, uh, boss key. The fabled big key used to gain entrance to the room where the dungeon's boss lurks. Oh. What? What was that? Ah! Statues! They're alive! Oh. And you gotta hit the little thing on the back of him. A little jewel or whatever it is on the back of them when they come alive. You can't just hack at them. Great, we got a bird out here somewhere. Oh, 
shut up and stop shooting my laser beams. Who's your mother? Ah! I was tell you not to shoot uh, anger laser beams at other people's faces. Golden feather! Ready! I won't warn you again! Go away! Oh wait, hold on a sec. What happens if I if I fell? Are we like above the clouds or something? Because I can't I can't see the bottom of this tower. <laughs> Run, or the laser beam will catch us. Do I have... Uh, there's a fairy, which... Which works better than soup, so I'm gonna drink the soup. Take the fairy. Ah, so the soup is too poor for this, right? Get off my map! God, I keep... Choosing the wrong thing. Where'd the fairy go? Fairy, come back! We caught the fairy again. They don't. They never look too happy when you catch them. It's in there, frowning at me. Um, we want bombs, arrows, and what else? No, not map. Bombs, arrows, boomerang, I guess. Which are not in short supply here. We're on to face the boss. This is our, is it our third boss? Third one? Right? Am I right? It's all glowing in here. Glowy! You have done well to find yourselves. The uh, O Chosen One. Accept this final challenge. Final, I hope it's not final. Oh, I know, this is our fourth boss. And it's got hands. And a face. Creepy. Robot and hands thing. I don't want any trouble. Ah, run. Give you a black eye. For those of you who uh, like little fun facts, um, the hands with the vulnerable center, or the little eye in the center, are uh, actually used quite often in Nintendo, they like to recycle a lot of their concepts. And the other hand's already up.
more arrows, I need to lose. Thank you. Chosen one. Alright. What, what will not come to pass is tied to your fate to the path you have. Okay, I didn't finish reading that. Go forward with caution. And we got another little light thing here. Link's happy we beat the boss. And why wouldn't he be happy? He gets another piece of heart. We get to increase our health. Making Link as formidable as ever. Is there anything else I need to do? No? Then on into the Pillar of Light we go! And we'll float up to the heavens and live out our, our Elden days peacefully. No, not really. something. Climb up the tower! I said the path has been open. I haven't seen any open paths. Ah, I keep opening the map. We're supposed to ring this, I suppose? Ding dong. Ding dong! have done well, Kodo. It would seem that the gods have acknowledged you to be the true hero. But this does not mean your trials have ended here. Once you take your first step into the world beyond this ring of light you see shimmering in the waves before you, your true trial will begin. Okay. Are you ready, Kodo? Yes, we are ready. But, um, if you don't mind, would you hurry up this cutscene? We're over on time. Ouch. I just hit my leg. Ah! We're underwater! <sighs> Ugh, sorry. I just woke up. <laughs> Link was trying to hold his breath. He couldn't do it. How are we able to breathe underwater, Link? What sorcery is this? And there's that theme music everyone's so familiar with. You don't really hear it much in this game, though. I mean, just right there, I think. I mean, you'd think they play their own theme music a lot more, but, you know. They didn't! Everything's in black and white. What's going on? And we're all underwater. It's Hyrule Castle. You are probably wondering where we are, aren't you? Unfortunately, there's not enough time for me to explain it to you now. Once you are able to strike down Ganon with 
the item you may obtain in this castle, all will be made clear to you. Trust in my words, see what awaits you in the castle. Alright, Mr. Boach, but that would have to wait till next episode because we are over on time in this black and white world. So next episode, YouTubers, we will go see what, what awaits us in the castle. Watch until then. If you like this episode, please, please be sure to like or leave a comment. Or if you like the Sequence Breakers in general, you can always subscribe. Once again, this is Kodo the Sequence Breakers wishing you all a very awesome day. I am signing off.